What is up guys? Um I'm gonna do a review of my model farm. So yeah. Crap. So here's the layout of my town. My shed's off over there. And there's all my old tractors. Biggest horsepower to the smallest. Got a lot of John Deere's. And then the tiniest tractor of them all. I can literally fit this in the back of my Dodge pickup truck. My four door Dodge. Um. <clears throat> here's custom vehicles that are either done or still in work of progress. This is my two door Dodge. It was a four door, but I chopped the doors off it for what I'll show you later. The only bad part about it is. Focus that hole right there. That's the only bad part. Cause I cut it a little close. This is going to be a grass rig. An F650 grass rig. This right here is going to be the Mega Ram Runner. And these doors right here came off of this Dodge. Here is my very first custom truck. This side, yeah, it looks pretty good. Once you see this side, that back part right there, eh, not too impressive. Yeah, it's a pretty good truck, except for that one part. Still has the gooseneck hitch, bumper hitch. Then here's my first car, which it's pretty much done. Got a, a blower on it. It's like a Cadillac or something. Or Chevy. Bell or I don't really know. I don't pay attention to cars too much. And if you guys watch Diesel Brothers enough, this is going to be the green Kenworth tow truck they made in the very their very first tow truck. That's what this might be soon. Um, and this takes skills. Made a little tiny grass rig. It's got a stand on bumper on the front. Pretty cool. It says fire and rescue on the side. And I made it using paper clips. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um we'll start at my garage. Here's my I made the base out of Legos. So here's my Ford Dodge, my skid steer, and forklift, which we went to an antique show, and this was in a boxed pile, box full of Hot Wheels, and lucky enough we found this. The forks are still in good condition. Crap. It, it lift up. It lifts up pretty good. Lifts up and down pretty good. It tilts back. That's pretty cool. Then right in here, usually I put my skid steer right there. Pretty cool. Then I'm making some forks for my skid steer. That's my garage. You come over here. I'm going to make this my town or something. Right here, this is my front end loader. Probably my favorite one I have. And I made forks for it out of paper clips. And as, if you can look at this, they don't fall out. So that's pretty, pretty dang handy. <coughs> and I, this is what I use with my tractor shed. Got my two new Hollands, my articulated four wheel drive John Deere, International Case Magnum, another Magnum with a loader on it. 
Um, John Deere four wheel drive. Doesn't have a model. Um, this I've had that forever. I also have forks for it, which I'll show you in a minute. And then case. It's a 1270, so it's a nice tractor. On this tractor right here, I like using it the most for a bush hog and stuff. <coughs> I'm going to take a tractor like this and put a loader like this on it. Put this front end loader on it, or one like this. I think that'd be pretty cool. And then my hay bales. If you come over here, you got my baler, chisel, plow, disc, round baler, disc, and chisel, harrow, whatever you want to call it. Here's my batwing bush hog. Pretty nice bush hog. Here's my Lego farm machinery shed. And then usually I'll have my grass rig sitting in here. I just play with it even though it's not done yet. And then I have a little garage on the back of my shed. And then that's my service truck. And this white block right here is a Yeti cooler. Um, I have a t that tanks off a gas truck. <clears throat> it's a gas tank off of a semi. Then, which I use as like an air food presser or something. Then I got cones. Tank. <clears throat> Here's my grain cart. It's a nice grain cart. Watch earlier this morning or last night. One of the two. That black piece with the warning triangle on it. I broke it off so I had to glue it back on. That made me, made me mad. And it's pretty nice. It goes out. Track to roll on it. I mean, not the best, but it's good enough. It's all metal. <clears throat> um, there's my corn planter, my hay mower, uh, my silage chopper, my combine headers. Where's my forklift? Um, here's my goosenecks. There's both my horse trailers, my dump bed trailer, and my plain gooseneck. And then, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, here's the forks on my John Deere tractor. Here's the forks on my John Deere. Oh, pretty nice. The one on the left isn't very good. I mean, I'm going to have to redo it. But for the most part, those are good forks. And this is my favorite fork I've made so far. Like a snow cat or something. Pretty neat. But I will do an update for a fire station. Let me know, guys. There's my cat. Boo. Gee, boo. 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 Hey, boo. Say hi. Say hi, boo. Say hi. He's a, like a 19 pound cat. He just lays. I need you to. I need you to move, boo. Um, let me know, guys, where you want me to put the fire station. I'm thinking about putting it right here. Or, I mean, I could put it. I don't know where else. I mean, I could make it like right in there. 
Um, I can make model vehicles like this, like custom. I mean, I'll make them and I can sell them to you. So, and then this is another product product I'm thinking about selling is their metal they're perfect for farms you can use them big on 1 16th 1 32nd and 1 64th they're good little pieces I'll sell them 10 of them for two dollars so say you wanted 50 of them that's ten dollars if you just wanted t 10 of these Ten of these just cost two dollars. Two dollars for ten. So, pretty nice. Um, if you know me, like, if you go to Fredonia, if you live in Fredonia, Kansas, and you know me, you go to Lincoln School, just let me know about it if you want any. And I can bring some, and they're just two dollars for ten of them. So let me know how many you want. And yeah. I have a bunch of them. I can make more. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking about <clears throat> taking a trailer like this. This one's broken, because one of my friends broke it. So I'm thinking about getting another one and taking this one and taking the axles off it and making it a gooseneck. I think that'd be pretty cool. <clears throat> I hit, I tripped over my front end loader. That hurt. And I can put the forks back on them later. <clears throat> but yeah, let me know. I can put put in the comments parking if you want me to put the fire station in parking. Or put bushes if you want me to put it over by bushes. And then let me know in the comments if you want any of these. Um, I got this cool calendar. Fire truck calendar. It's like a new fire truck. I have this old Napa calendar, tractors. I made this, you can put your phone in it and you can put your phone right down in there while you're listening to music and just have it holding in there. And I also got a bargain deal on this dozer. I found them for like a hundred and hundred and fifty dollars. We bought this at that same show we got that forklift for. At. We got this for, I think it was like $10. We got a super deal on that. And then I'll also make model farms with my 1 16th. All the 1 16th I have. Which I can make those pretty detailed for the most part. <clears throat> and yeah. But put parking. If you want me to make the fire station here, put bushes. If you want me to make them over here by the bushes. For the fire station, put that down in the comments. Like my video, subscribe, and share. That's all for today. See ya.